It's a well-established psychological fact that porn is addictive. You don't have to have an addictive personality or use pornography problematically for it to affect you negatively. The fact that we can use pornography privately and anonymously with very little resistance from society, as porn has become so normalized, pushes us towards regular use and even relying on it to function properly. So in this video, we're going to discuss what porn does and whether or not it's worth resisting. What porn does to your brain. Porn is extremely damaging to the human brain. It stimulates the brain in a way that gives you too much dopamine for a longer amount of time than normal. Because it is so easy to get dopamine out of it, your brain naturally wants more. That's why it's so addictive. It's also been linked to various forms of psychological distress like depression, anxiety, restlessness and many others. The damage it does to you might be enough to make you want to stop. But that isn't all. The damage doesn't stop with you. It can affect other aspects of your life as well. How it affects you in other ways. Relationships, socializing, self-esteem. Porn is unrealistic. Porn can cause us to go down a path where we are trying to balance pleasure with shame. The dip we feel in self-esteem causes us to lose confidence. Along with depression and anxiety, socializing becomes more difficult. Because of the way porn can hijack your brain into becoming hypersexual, everything starts to have a sexual undertone. As a result, men who watch a lot of porn tend to objectify women and value them primarily based on their sexuality or their ability to appeal to their sexual desires. It can damage romantic relationships. Men who frequently watched porn had lower relationship and sexual satisfaction. Porn is also extremely unrealistic, which can ruin your expectations and enjoyment of sex. Courting and romance become less valuable when you can easily bypass them for immediate sexual gratification. So the purpose of relationships gets lost. Porn can kill relationships and love ultimately making life a little duller. So if you've been struggling with your confidence, mental health and relationships, the thought has probably crossed your mind to resist the urge to watch porn. If you've tried it, you know how difficult it can be. What resistance does. Withdrawals come with every addiction. Even if you don't believe you're addicted to porn, if you try to resist it, you can probably feel your brain resisting back. Each time you fail to resist, the cravings become more intense, so resisting gradually gets more and more difficult. You become trapped by what is called an adaptive cycle. Your brain learns what it takes to get you to watch porn and does that as long as you keep giving in. Essentially, if resisting doesn't work, it will be harder to get out of those habits. So should you resist the urge to watch porn? If you find that resisting is only making things more difficult, don't lose hope. What else can we try? Breaking an addiction or getting out of harmful habits is always difficult and can be quite lonely, especially with something like porn. If you sincerely feel like porn is ruining your life, we recommend seeing a professional who will have more advice that is directly applicable to you and your specific situation. When trying to break the habit of watching pornography, even if you don't believe you're addicted, treat it as an addiction. Instead of resisting it, seek distractions, make changes in your environment, and avoid things that make you want to watch porn. If you are always home, try to spend time out in public and replace the behavior with something else. When you feel the urge to watch porn, do a few push-ups or sit-ups, clean up your room, or anything that will get you away from your computer or phone. Remember, you don't have to watch porn to masturbate. Pornography has become so normalized that we often associate them directly with each other. If you do associate porn with masturbating, try taking a break from both until that association is broken, because doing one may tempt you to do the other. If you think porn isn't addictive, challenge yourself to resist it for a week and see how you do. If this video helped you feel a little less hopeless or informed you, please leave a like. Have you managed to resist porn? What worked for you? Let us and the community know in the comments below. All the studies used are mentioned in the description below. Subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos just like this. Good luck, you've got this.